Welcome back to ExcelDashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at ExcelDashboardTemplates.com so you can learn more tips, tricks, techniques, and learn everything about Excel. All right, today we're going to uh, focus on a recent video where I showed you how to stop overlapping columns when it comes to having a third data series. So as you can see, this data series is uh, along the secondary vertical axis, and the two smaller ones are along the left vertical axis. However, uh, one of the things that I didn't really like about it um, uh, is what happens to decaf? I mean, is that to the right? Is it to the left? How do you know? So I'm going to combine a couple of different techniques uh, to show you how to make this a little bit more readable. Um, if uh, we do the solution, um, you can see the technique is to uh, modify your legend so that it groups it into the different areas. So you can see T and decaf are left axis, right axis is regular coffee. Um, but I'm going to take it even one step further. Uh, the one I kind of like better, but you tell me in the comments below which one you like better, uh, is to have an, another gap also in here. So. Uh, to have the first two data series um, go to the left axis. So we've got that over in the legend and on the right axis is the regular coffee. But I've got this gap just to kind of show, hey, it's off to the right. Uh, make sure you consider it over on the right. Once again, let me know in the comments below which one you think is better. All right, let's go ahead and talk about how we're going to go about doing this. Uh, as you can see, we've got our data points here. Uh, we've got tea, coffee, uh, decaf. Uh, these are very small values. We're going to put those on the left vertical axis, and regular coffee is going to be on the secondary vertical axis. So uh, what we want to do is, as we showed you in the last video, is we want to create some padding. So um, we need the padding for these two columns to equal uh, the um, uh, on both axes. So we'll need th at least three columns of data um, for the left uh, vertical axis or the primary then we're going to need three columns of data for the secondary axis. We're just going to have zeros or blanks for those other two so that uh, we can separate those. Now we're going to add an additional one in here to create that alternate gap that we talked about as well. Um, so let's go ahead and do it. So what we want to do is there's a few things we need to do. We need to insert um, some of those uh, labels or series that I was creating. I just like to sometimes just do it out here in the data so that we understand. Um, and so over here in B2, I'm going to call this the left... Uh, axis and um, that will suffice there. Then I'm going to insert a bunch of different columns in here uh, as well. So I'm going to push co regular coffee way over to the right. Uh, and so for decaf coffee, what we're going to do is we're going to have a left pad. Uh, then we're going to also have a right pad one and a right pad two. Uh, and then finally, I'm going to do one, another one for our label of right axis so that we're very clear as to which go into which section. So now this is how you'd have your data set up if you wanted to do the original uh, one where we're just do, breaking up our axes into left axes and right axes um, and uh, not having the gap. So if you want to do the one with the gap, that's the steps I'm going to follow next. What we need to do there is we need to create one additional right pad. So let's go ahead and add that one in right pad three. And that is going to be end up being our blank um, in for our gap. If you don't want that one, you can eliminate this step and uh, everything else from now on will still hold. So let's go ahead and highlight our data range, go up to our uh, insert ribbon. We're going to do a column chart. Then we're going to do a 2D column chart. Let's move that over into the screen. Now, as you can see, uh, Excel's making some choices for you. It thinks you want to have the most series here on the bottom as opposed to January, February, and March. Uh, we can switch those by going to our design ribbon and put January, February, and March as the horizontal axis. And uh, now we have the what we're looking for. So what I want to do is I want to right click on my regular coffee series, do format data series. And then in this format data series dialog box, I want to click on secondary axis. Now you can see it's overlapping here and uh, uh, it's not exactly what we want, but we're going to fix that by moving the rest of these right pads to the secondary axis. Before I do that, I'm going to change my fill to a solid fill color just so I can have that orange so it looks like the other chart that I had created. Now, once you're ready to go on and move the rest of the series to the right axis, just click on a series in your chart. Make sure you've selected a series. You can see these 
these circles around the different series are highlighted. So I have a series and I can move my up or down arrows to move between elements within my chart. And as you can see up above here, check a look at the series. As I move up and down, I am selecting different series and I can change that to the secondary axes. Do not need to close my format data series down. I can just click back in my chart, make sure I've got a series selected and I'm gonna go ahead and move within my series until I see the right pad three selected, secondary axis. Click in the chart on right regular coffee, down arrow, down arrow, down arrow. So again, now I can pick secondary axes. And we're gonna do that for the final right pad uh, until we select, move that to the secondary axis. All right, so we're getting very close. Uh, let me go ahead and close that down so we can take a look. We have um, January uh, with a gap in there. So that's uh, working how I'd like it to look. Uh, and um, we've got these two series over on the primary vertical axis and the regular coffee over on the right one. Uh, I just need to clean up now my legend. So if I click anywhere in the legend, I can get rid of a few of these. So let's go ahead and get rid of left pad by uh, first clicking in the chart, selecting your legend, selecting that legend entry, and you'll see the dots around it. Hit your delete key. We're gonna do that for several of these. Um, I'm gonna get rid of right pad two, and I'm gonna leave right pad three, and I'm gonna get rid, um, and I'm gonna leave left axis. Now, uh, so we've got everything in here that we want. Now the right pad three, I don't want it to say right pad three, I just want it to be a blank. So I'm gonna go up into my chart range, as you can see up into H1, and hit my delete key on the label. And you can see now the label is gone from my legend. All right, next, I want to change right axis to get rid of this pink and left axis to get rid of that uh, blue. And we're gonna do that by clicking anywhere on any of the series within the chart and hitting Control-1, or you can right click on the series in the chart, bring up Format Data Series. Either one is gonna bring up this dialog box. And once again, I'm going to click in the chart and move my up and down arrows until I find left pad. So that, or I'm sorry, uh, left axes is the one I'm looking for. Uh, so I'm just gonna go up and down arrow until I get to, there it is, left axes. Now we can see left axes has this blue fill color, even though it's not showing in the chart, I'm gonna change the fill color to no fill. And you can see it's now moved or uh, removed the color from left axes. And let's do that again for uh, this blank and also for right axis. So I'm gonna click in the chart. We've got uh, uh, T selected. I move my down arrows until I get to the um, right pad one it might've been. Let's just do no fill on that one. Oh, there wasn't that one. I couldn't remember which one it was. Uh, and let's go right pad two, fill, no fill. It wasn't that one either. It's probably right pad three, which is what I blanked out. Should have remembered that. Let's do that as no fill. Now you can see that color bar has gone away from my legend. Finally, I just need to change it for the right axis one as well. So click in the data series, moving my up arrows over until I get to the right axis. Uh, column fill, no fill. Now that's gone away. So let's take a look at our chart. Uh, we have uh, two um, T and decaf are left axis, and I've got that up here as a moniker or a label within my legend. Right axis, I have res regular coffee. I also have a gap in there just to show a little bit of padding. Uh, so I just think that that's a lot easier uh, for readers to understand. Certainly it, it is can be a very uh, busy busy chart, so it might be something that you may not want to do. You may want to create two charts. However, if you really are trying to uh, uh, compare your data uh, on the same area with two different uh, values for your vertical axis. Not a bad way to go in my opinion. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Also, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Also, the finally, the show notes will have links to the write-ups for all of these posts so that you can uh, read more details about them, download sample files, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my blog as well over at excel-boardtemplates.com. Thank you.